Thank you so much. Valentine's Day, less than a week away. And if you're struggling with what to get your significant other, maybe you're not focusing on the right love language. This is really interesting and I think helpful and beneficial. So we've got motivational speaker and legacy coach Angelica here with us this morning. Good morning. I love the outfit. Thank you. I'm trying to give you that love right here. I appreciate <laughs> it. And we've got your daughter there. Um, yes. And we'll, we'll see if maybe we can bring her on at the end. Sure. So, I think that this is so important, and I think couples kind of need to figure out love languages because your love language could be different than my love Completely language. Completely different. First off, what are the five love languages? Well, we have to think about it as words of affirmation, gifts, acts of service. What's the other one? Oh, physical gosh, let touch. Let me look at my note. And um, quality time. Quality time. There you go. So when we do this, and you can actually do quizzes online about Absolutely. it, and I it's remember free. doing that, yes. and it was really interesting. Yes. Why do you think it's important to know what your love language is? You want to get the most points for your activities, don't you? It's almost like playing a video game. You want to hit that mark on the mark, and by knowing the love languages, you're able to really touch your person's heart the way they receive it best. So by studying that, learning theirs and yours, you're able to really maximize on your time. Because you might be into gifts, you might want to mm -hmm. like. The, the nice bow and the wrapping Maybe. and all that. But I might be into like, you know, I don't care about that. I want mm -mm. quality time. I want to go on a nice date. Exactly. And that's my love language. And for me, it's words of affirmation. So mm -hmm. when it comes to Valentine's Day, we can actually cater how we show our Valentine's Day love with someone's love language. So words of affirmation, make sure you compliment them. You're looking fantastic, which by the way, our green and red is really doing well on camera <laughs> right now. So that's a beautiful uh, words of affirmation hit. If you're looking at something else like acts of service, lighten up their load. When it comes to them preparing for something, preparing for work, like how Sam is taking care of Chloe really well, that would be fantastic. That's an acts of service. Now, wash the bottles, please, too. No, he's, he's always very good about that. But, like, doing the laundry or mm -hmm. washing, you know, dishes or whatever. Yes. For some people, it's like, that's my love language. It like, is. that's all you care about is, hey, you helped me out. And thank, thank you, you so for letting for me that. sit on the couch. Exactly, and rest for a second. But, you know, for gifts, it doesn't have to be expensive. Some people think, mm -hmm. well, gifts have to be lavish. Not necessarily. It could be something thought out. It could be a love note that you wrote that you gave talking about a memory that you guys had that you cherish very highly. Get that community. A gift as well and that could be shown on Valentine's Day just the same and I think quality time is important right yes. especially when you have families and life gets busy and you don't carve out time for you know each other mm -hmm. and then when you do carve out time for each other like putting the distractions away that is the issue with quality time yeah. now versus in 1920 the yeah. type of interactions we have with social media is so intense right now that to stop something is really an act of God so acts of service quality time shut everything down just look into each other's eyes. Or if anything, make sure they know, hey, I want to give you your quality time. What do you need? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Put away the phone. Everything. You, know, you can check it in an hour. Mm -hmm. Sometimes mm -hmm. I think that's just good. Put away your phone for like yes. an hour at night yes. and have a good conversation. So figuring out your love language mm -hmm. and then Free figuring course. out your partners. Absolutely. And seeing how they merge because there may be some overlap. Mm -hmm. uh, my husband and I both love quality time. We both like acts of service, but he likes that more than I do. I need words of affirmation. <laughs> if I got dressed like this and he looked at me and just walked off, I would be broken. <laughs> broken. He'd be, he'd be on, the, <laughs> on the curb. <laughs> be hugging the baby. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. Um, so I think what's your message for couples out there with Valentine's Day approaching? And I know a lot of people think, oh, it's a Hallmark holiday, but yeah. what do you want to tell them? I want to make sure that they realize Valentine's is just a reminder of showing love to your partner and understanding them more. Make it your goal to get deeper into your knowledge of them and show them that love the way they would like to see it. Okay. I need to do that quiz. Hey, oh, wait, we're going to bring, we're going to bring the baby in? Oh, wait. Oh, there she is. Okay, <laughs> tell me all about her. Faye. Faye is great. That's Sophia, my firstborn, Hi, right behind Faye. the cardigan. Hey, Faye. Aww. Hey, sweetie. Man, I think I'm a photocopy machine because she showed Aww. up like her daddy. You got a little, your little Valentine's Day, know, sweetie. It's our gift. It's our gift. Yes, I know. And congratulations. I told my husband. Thank you. Chloe. I'm like, there's your, there's your Valentine. Know, there's Chloe. I'll put her in a little <laughs> cute onesie. Thank you so much. Great to see you. Now I want to take that quiz again. I'll do that in the break. Um, it is not just here in Arizona.